Hello everyone, it's Didem. Today I'm going to introduce you another amazing AI tool which makes developers' life easier. Spreading AI is an AI-powered knowledge base platform for developers which makes it easy to build a self-service knowledge base for your customers and developers. And also it's 100% free. Head over to their website spreading.ai and sign up for free. It's 100% free. You can start writing docs right away. So I'm not going to be signing up for this video because I already signed up for Spreading AI. So I'm going to log in with my Google account, which is, yeah, that's it. Let's get in. Cancel. No, I don't want another Chrome profile. Okay. Okay. This is the screen when you first sign in. I have one side and one team project, but never mind. We're going to create it from scratch. Okay, the very first thing you're going to do here is creating a new, brand new project, right? So I'm going to call it Novel Assage. The Novel Assage is a, is a what you see is what you get editor. Like it's an NPM package and it's an AI powered editor. So I'm going to be trying to create a docs uh, docs page for novel as such using spreading AI. This is what I'm going to do. Okay, here is my project novel as such. I just get in and you can see this little AI box. It will help you generate directory with AI. So let's click on it. And there are documentation type options. So it might be a developer documentation or product documentation, user guide or others. So I'm going to make a developer documentation and there is this target audience type. So please describe the target reader briefly in 100 characters or less. So it might be the examples are beginner developers, sales, unfamiliar with the product or other things like that. I'm going to say beginner developers. So for the product description, I'm just going to copy this little text. So, so this is the product. Novel is a notion style. Okay, notion style. What you see is what you get. Editor with AI powered auto completions. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Let's generate. So it's going to prepare directories for us. So after a couple of seconds, it comes up with example directories, which is an overview. Okay. It has introduction, key features and getting started guide like installation and configuration and usage creating a document editing a document advanced features collaboration and version control but i can regenerate it actually changing the prompts like this auto completions i can say it's an npm package also because it's also an npm package so it will do the process all over again. Like I can do that as much as I want. Okay, introduction, features, configuration, basic usage, and advanced usage. This is okay for me. So let's hit apply and see what it does. Great. So I don't want this untitled thing. Yeah, delete it and it's novel as such, right? So I have the introduction, features and installation, configuration and all, right? So I'm going to go with the introduction first. Let's click on this edit. And one of the features Spreading AI provides is a rich block components. Like you can hit the slash and you can see it's it's really, if you're familiar with Notion, like it's similar. So you have the rich block components. You can have heading one, collage, like this. You can change the colors. And 
yeah so let's delete this for now and i'm gonna say text so another core feature is writing with ai i'm actually going to copy this one let's copy and okay what's going on so it should be only this one not the whole thing okay it copied the whole github so let's paste that so it's novel okay novel as such is a notion style what you see is what you get editor with ai powered auto completions okay i really want to uh, make this longer, right? So I can use AI to make this text longer So it will write a bunch of text for me because this is a really short one for a introduction, right? Okay So it's novel is a user-friendly and innovative what you see is what you get. Let's make this bold editor designed in the style of notion yet yeah, which is correct it incorporates advanced artificial intelligence technology to provide users with powerful auto completions which is correct with novel users can f okay let's say effortlessly create and edit content while benefiting from intelligence suggestions and predictions which is also correct whether you are a professional writer, a student, or simply someone who enjoys expressing ideas, blah, blah, novel, okay. Harnessing the power of AI, which is also another AI tool. Novel enhances productivity and creativity. Okay, this introduction is great for me. So if I was the creator of novel, writing this github readme file i will definitely use spreading ai to do it right so another thing i want to do here is the okay not the um, okay this is introduction let's save it and for the features let's edit Okay, for the features, I'm gonna say bulleted list. What you see is what you get, editor, which is also the feature of spreading AI. And like markdown, powered, and all right. Okay, great. For the installation part, let's go to the installation edits I'm gonna generate doc from document so it's a quick start um, I'm gonna actually write npm install novel I'm gonna say generate so spreading AI is great at creating doc from code it's another feature of spreading AI. Okay, here is the installation quick start guide for installing the novel package. So introduction, this guide will walk you through the process of installing the novel package using NPM, right? So it has these prerequisites which are correct. So for the installation, you're gonna say, Okay, we need to give more details because, wait a second, so let's say, delete the sun, generate code from doc npm install novel and this other text, right? So this is how we use it. 
and this one. Okay, great. Quick start guide, generate this. Yeah, the editor component, conclusion and all. And this comment, like comment here is, let's write the code. Yeah, I can add the code like this. Mm, npm install novel. And the other change I'm going to do is, okay, this is plain text. And for now, it's great. Let's save this one. Okay, edit these lines unnecessary. And to import the editor, can I add the following line of code? Okay. I'm going to add this one here. Yes. Great. Let's edit. I don't want this one. Oops. Sorry. Okay. For this one, let's. Okay, for this one, let's add the code block and save it. Great, so this is the installation part. And this one is the importing the editor component and using it. Like you can render it inside app, which is correct. So the conclusion. And one of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to actually delete the usage. This is way too long. And I'm going to say rename usage, API usage or something. Okay, API usage. Let's edit this. And I'm going to generate doc from code again. But this time I'm going to hit the export. API explanation. So it will generate something like this table. So I'm trying to generate this table. So what I'm going to say is let's copy this one. And what I'm going to do is if I know, okay, not this one, if I know what parameters it has. So it can generate it from the code. Okay, this is the default one. And after that, okay, this is the class name. You'll see what it's gonna does. The advanced duration, okay, I'm giving the parameters. And the default ones, it's 70. Okay, this one. Let's do this. And one other thing can be storage key. Let's give it a storage key. Which is novel content, right? This is default storage key. And one other thing is completion API let's give this also so the default is API generate endpoints so let's see what it's gonna does and it's JavaScript it's actually JavaScript where is it here it is so let's generate a table 
No. Yeah, this is it. So you can see we added the parameters like class name, debounce duration, storage key, and completion API. And it has a guess, right? Like it knows the type of the parameter, like the class name is a string. So we gave it an example code. So it knows debounce duration is some number, storage keys is a string type and completion API. And it has these little AI power, like AI generated descriptions for them. So class name is a, the CSS class name for the editor component, the duration in milliseconds, which is debounce duration, to wait before triggering the debounce function, which is correct. The key used to store the content of the editor in local storage. The API endpoint for generating completion suggestions. So you can give the other like other parameters and like generate other stuff, but I'm gonna save it for now. So it's completely ready for me. So one of the other features I wanna mention here is you can actually use Markdown. It's Markdown supported. So you can say heading, like this is heading one. If you make it three times and it's heading three. So you can also use Markdown here. And when you're done with that, there is this preview. So let's, first of all, we need to submit this for previews. So it's a preview. This one is a preview. Another preview. And a final preview, right? And you can hit this preview. Okay, no, well. Let's say novel. Let's set up our site. Um, this site is in progress and will be ready in five minutes. Please wait the preview. Okay. Basically. Okay, it will be ready in five minutes. And at this time, you can, like, you can give it a favicon, a redirect URL, or some icon image. This is my image actually. Okay, let's use this for both the... Yeah. Um, okay, favicon is another format, right? So let's see. So we're gonna access our doc sites uh, from this subdomain, right? So hitting this, this is not gonna work right now, but this will be ready in five minutes. You can also, what you can also do is setting up a custom domain or custom proxy. But I'm going to go with this default one for this video. So let's save this. Okay, one other thing is if you're bored writing the docs on your own, you can invite a team member. So this generates a workspace URL which you can copy and give your friend actually, but look at this, join calling with DRAMS workspace. So let's join it. Yeah, you can see that. So this is the site we generated. It's not ready yet, I think, but this is how you invite people into your workspace, right? So after a few minutes, you can access your doc site by clicking on this link, the share link, and then you can see your doc site published. This is the final doc site you build with the help of Spreading AI. Pretty straightforward, right? So you can see your introduction page features and the API usage like this. There's also this on this page back to top button. So this is how you do it. And you can always share the link with your team members. And that's it. Thank you for listening. That's it for the video. If you like my content and want to support it, please subscribe. Otherwise, see you.